So Lightspeed Cache plugin is one of the most advanced plugin for speed optimization. It is really very effective and better than a lot of paid plugins. I created a video about it and you can see I got 40,000 views and this is one of the best performing videos on my channel and I received 903 comments on this video. But the problem with Lightspeed Cache plugin is it is so advanced and every website is different. So sometimes it breaks your website. But with little tuning, you can make this plugin work and get the best page speed score for your website. So when people watch this video, sometimes their website broke. So I created another video with Lightspeed Cache part two common issues and fixes. I took all the comments when people commented on the video, what issue are they facing? And I helped them to make their website work with Lightspeed Cache plugin. If your website breaks, I highly recommend you to watch this video. And there's one comment which came all the time, which was guest mode optimization. So if you're using Lightspeed Cache plugin and go to general, you have this option guest mode and guest optimization. If you enable this option, your website will have really, really high scores, but sometimes your website can break. And if you disable this option, your score will go down. So today I will explain you how you can make the guest mode and guest optimization work with your website and get the best scores without breaking your website. Just very quickly, I want to explain you what is guest mode. So guest mode is a system when somebody visits a website first time, Lightspeed plugin serves them a cache page. This page is generic for all the visitors of the website. And once the page is loaded, all the dynamic content on the page which should be changed by time, it will load by Ajax after the main page load. So what happens when Google visit a website or GT Metrics or Pingdom visit a website Lightspeed Cache give this generic cache page to this system. So you get really, really high scores. And after the page is refreshed and guest optimization add a extra layer on the top of this. It add all the optimization on the top of the guest mode. So it is really nice feature to use. But the whole purpose of this video to make your website work with these options. Okay, so let's see what is the issue. I highly recommend you to watch this video so you can understand if guest mode is breaking your website or not. So you can troubleshoot. So how we can see if guest mode is breaking your website turn this option off and then check your website. And I highly recommend you check your website in private browsing mode because sometimes cache does not clear. So check in private browsing, clear your cache from your host, from Cloudflare if you're using it, and then check your website if this option is breaking your website. Okay, once you make sure the guest mode is breaking your website, what you can do, take this URL. I will add this URL in the description of this video. Open your website and add this URL in the end, WP Content Plugins, Lightspeed Cache, guestvary.php. Once you hit this URL, if you see something like this, guest mode is working real nice. If you see the 403 error here, this is the issue why guest mode is not working on your website. So this URL is responsible for the guest mode on your website. And if you see 403 and 404 errors, that is why guest mode is not working on your website. So now let's see how you can fix this issue. First of all, go to Lightspeed Cache plugin in general. Make sure you got a domain key. This is really important. The second thing you need to check is when you enable the guest mode, this will add some code in your STX file. You can go to cPanel and from file man, you can check your STX file. You should have some code like this, which is added by Lightspeed WP Cache plugin. If you do not have this code, this means your STX file is not editable. So change the permissions or you can just contact your host. They will help you to make your STX file editable so that Lightspeed Cache plugin add this code. Now let me tell you the most common issue why guest mode doesn't work. So in case you're using a security plugin like WordFence or iTheme security, or if you're using Cloudflare, so this URL is blocked by this security plugin or by Cloudflare. So what you can do, for example, if you're using WordFence plugin, go to all options and then go to allow listed URLs. And what you need to do is copy this complete URL. So you need to add the complete URL here. Make sure in the front you change your website URL and then choose post body and give it some name. For example, allow ls and then click on add. So now this URL is added here and your security plugin will not block Lightspeed Cache and your guest mode will work. This rule applies to all security plugins. If you're using iTheme security or any other security plugin, every security plugin has this option to whitelist the URLs. So make sure you add this complete URL there to whitelist. If you're using Cloudflare on your website, go to security and then click on WF and then create firewall rule and give it some name, allow ls. And then from field, select URL full equals and add the complete URL. And then from choose an action, select and deploy firewall rule. Because now this rule is added, the Cloudflare will not block this URL and your guest mode will work. And guys, one more important thing, before doing any of this advanced changes in website, I highly recommend you to create a staging website. It just take a couple of minutes. Create a staging or test website, do all these things there. And then once you're satisfied what is breaking your website, and you fix that thing, then only make these changes on your live website. It is highly recommended. We don't want to waste our time and create a panic if your website goes down. So make sure to do everything on staging website, then only you implement on your live website. And guys, in the end, one last thing, we are really close to reach 5,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, everybody who support that. And if you're new here, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you want to watch such amazing, unique content, which you will not find easily on YouTube. Thank you so much. See you in another video.